Okay, so today I'm going to be focusing on some issue around the Azure Sanitizer and the RADV Mesa Vulkan implementation for Radeon cards. When I run either the Photographics VK tests or the main Bring Up application on a system that has Intel graphics, like the Intel Integrated Graphics uh, uh, KB Lake, I believe, there are no problems with address sanitizer with re regards to leaks. Neither are there issues when I run it with the LLVM pipe, the software rasterizer. However, if I run the application on this system, which has uh, Navi 21, which of course would use the, the Mesa RADV implementation, I get a whole bunch of uh, these. A bunch of Detected memory leaks, uh, all in unknown modules, which I am pre presuming to be the Vulcan, the Vulcan Radeon uh, library. Now, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not saying that there's memory leaks in that imp implementation. It may very well also just be like, like this. Look at the size of this: three thousand one hundred thirty-five allocations with six. 100 kilobytes, that uh, looks a bit much. It's very possible that the issue is just the fact is just to do with the address or leak sanitizer, not being able to fully figure out how to deal with what's happening in RADV. Maybe it's just doing things in a very weird way that address sanitizer or leak sanitizer can't quite uh, grok with, or figure out, or deal with. So tonight, I want to try to figure out what the issue is, or what the issue may think it is, or some way to resolve the issue. Or maybe I'll find an actual leak and have no idea how to fix it, or maybe I'll fix it. Don't know. Time to figure it out. So to begin with, uh, I need to get a small, minimal example to be able to recreate what is supposedly a memory leak. So that is going to involve moving this out of here, creating a new directory in here. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. There we are, open in code. Open that up. Okay. New test application. Test. It's going to be very minimal. It's going to have a CMake. It's.txt. It's going to have some of the basics. So CMake minimum required. It'll have a project. It will have uh, an executable for test, which is using main.c. Already get link libraries for test, which is going to bring in Vulcan, which is the Vulcan loader. And I need to include, because this is to do with uh, the address sanitizer, I want to pull in from the regular uh, library or from the previous uh, project. Let me get it. Copy and paste here. Hope that didn't work. Oh, there it is. Sanitizers. Uh, right. So include sanitizers. Dot C make. Let's add the uh, main.c. Okay, include Vulcan and Vulcan. Include, I don't know, int main int star uh, star return zero. Let me go into there, CD test, build, build, 
fill the debug. And my address. Sanitizer runs. Okay. No uh, and run test. No, uh, no um, memory leaks right now. So if I was to malloc 1500 bytes here, we have a 1500 bytes memory leak. Perfect. So uh, let's make, let's get as far as along with the process of start of setting up uh, Vulkan and see where we can hit uh, the first issue. So pulling back from the old application, runtime CPP, we get this. We, okay, I need to get that from graphics. I should have the Vulkan implement, uh, the thing that grabs the Uh, version, physical device, create runtime, so it'll be in here, right? No? Ah, there it is. Enumerates the version, Vulcan version that's available. So you get that. We get, set up the application. Just lol, let's say. Version one, version one, that. Close that, close that. No, that's, those aren't important. Go inside here. We have that, we need instance create info and that stuff. Uh, nothing to do with uh, Mac OS, no layers, no extensions. Create it. Allocator. Okay. Almost. No memory leaks yet. So next is to uh, select the physical device. I believe uh, is also done here. Yep, looks like right about here. Okay, we got instance. We got instance. We got physical devices, which we will change up to instead. Malloc, size of that times that. I need to include standard lib, sorry. To make that, yep. Null his devices star negative one, negative one, okay. Do oh, okay, here we go. We have a direct leak from an unknown module. On the first or the second one? On the first one. Okay. So, if I go into, I don't have a, uh, let me create a thing to run test. Launch.
Uh, we don't have a build. We have this, but it's not that. It's test. Build test. Okay, we're here. I got F11 to step in. Of course, uh, everything that's available on my current system are distro provided ones. Those are, of course, release builds. They have no debug information, anything like that, and they're all optimized. So I need to bring in one that has debug symbols at the very least, but that also has uh the address sanitizer on so um let me put up chrome okay arch linux let's go to packages vulcan loader i believe vulcan icd loader i want to how do we make this Package build. Okay, we get it from this. So let me grab this. From here, git clone this. CD Vulcan loader. And what is it? This is. C make based. Okay, perfect. I can work with this. Make the build. CD build. I want to make a copy of the sanitizers in here. Make this uh, after project include. Include sanitizers. Great. To make that. I'll build that. It'll be a debug version and it will have. Use gas. Okay, whatever. Make dash J. That should leave in here somewhere. The loader, I guess. Lib Vulcan. Okay. If. Okay. Test build here. Let's close that. Here. How can I LD <sighs> LD something LD library path equals wherever I am right now so almost this Mesa, okay. Vulcan loader, build loader. So that'll be the first thing that pulls in. Test. Wait, hold on. That doesn't help me for the debug. Um. Right. Environment is. How do I do this? Name, value, okay. LD library path. With this path. So that hopefully I don't have to copy this into... I mean, if I copy into user lib, into the system libraries, I can very easily override it. I just reinstall the uh, Vulcan ICD loader. But I don't want to do that if I don't have to. I was here, right? Okay, if I go to here and I, I can F11. Okay, now I can step inside of here. So, 
Now look, 1500, let's make sure that the extra sanitizer will pick this up properly. What was I going to do? Dang it. Um, LD library path equals... That. In an, an unknown module still. Oh, but I didn't... Uh... Bolt and loader. Ooh. Remake that. Then try this. Okay. That's good. So, yes. It detects the 1500 bytes from here. And then that's still an unknown module, so I haven't pinpointed where it's coming from yet. Okay. Somewhere in this small function, it happens. And I'll bet it's in here. If I do this, uh, do that, and then do that. That's actually even worse because it just nothing happens. Okay. Return. Uh, just okay. Just go to. Instead, I think it'll work better, right? Yeah. And then if I go to out after, then we have the problem. Okay, so it's inside of here. Okay. Don't do that. Let's go into here. Can I not detach this? Fine. Okay, I'm in here, go inside, I'm going to this point, and F11? No. Okay. Okay. So at this point, I'm going to assume that it's going into Vulcan. It is? OK. At this point, it only has Vulcan that 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 loaded by the time it hit the, hits this breakpoint, it's got a bunch more things loaded. Of most note will be Vulcan Radeon. And this device select library. I will assume that in, in the process of enumerating physical devices, it's going into this. And then this de device select thing is going into this. So where... Where, oh, where do I get that? Vulcan, Mesa, it was Mesa, right? Vulcan, uh, VK layer, Mesa, device select, okay. That's nah, just the 32 bit version, okay. In here, somewhere, I am assuming search files. Okay, source files. Let's see what the package build looks like. So, um, Vulcan Mesa layers. 
Sorry, it's got a whole bunch. Oh, it's a bunch of things together. What? Okay. So all of these packages come from this package build. Okay. So it's probably just calling from Mesa. Yeah. It's building basically everything and then it's packaging different things out. So Vulcan Radeon would be RADV defaults, Vulcan Radeon, and the Mesa layers is going to have VK layer stuff. Okay. Okay. So I need to get a Mesa. Mesa driver. Cool. Uh, documentation. Downloading and unpacking. Not what I want. Oh, source code repository. That will get me something that I can reset easily. So, let's, uh, right, stop this. I need a new thing at this start. So, git clone this. That's probably going to take a little while, so BRB. Okay, so that's there. Uh, let's see how we build this. Uh, compiling and installing. Mason, okay, I got that. Requirements, build, okay, building with Mason. Pretty straightforward. A little bit too. Okay, I can choose the install directory. Other options. Okay, LD library path. Uh, the ICD file, okay. Let's get it built first, shall we? So, uh, going into Mesa, we do Mason. Um, configure, or sorry, setup in build directory. Okay, what we got? Uh, okay, right, the uh, prefix equals Mesa install, I guess. I need to run reconfigure. Okay. OpenGL, Mesa, blah, 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 blah. I don't see anything about. Uh, the uh, layers. Here we go. I need a layer, Vulcan layers. Okay. That. Configuration. No. There must be some way to show me all the options at once. Mesa setup. Running the command. Hmm. Ah. Okay. Uh, build type is debug optimized. I want to change that down to debug. Um. Debug is true. Hmm. Uh, 
Ooh, okay, here we go. Sanitizers. I can do B sanitize address. Okay, B sanitize address and build type to debug. And then this is just some internal options. Okay. Dash D, B sanitize equals address and dash D, what was it? Ah, what was it? Build, build type? Let me just double check. Uh, build type, yeah. Reconfigure build. Build type, sanitize, layers, device select, install location. That's great. Okay. Ninja dash C build. And that's going to take a little while. So BRB. Okay. That took a lot less time than I expected. I guess it's all C, so it's very fast to build anyways. Um, can I... Update this with that and the other directory, which is do I have to do like space probably? That that doll lip. Where is it? Oh oh I um install. Uh, to install lib, yeah. Okay. So got that and that. So that's two new locations. We go up to, let's re go to this point. It's not debug at, or, uh, Did I just swap? No, that's still using that. It just broke both sides. N not great. Okay. Okay, yeah, now we have that one, and up here will be... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good on that. We don't have Lib Vulcan. That's because... Um, that's brought in via the ICD that I missed. What was... Bring that in. What was it? This. There's, a, like, a little configuration file that's going to be hiding... Uh, in the share directory, it looks like. Which shows where exactly where the library is. Okay. So I need a new environment variable. Which is where this is. Right there, okay. Guess we run to this point, see how far we get. What do we load? Source file is newer than, okay. Okay, there we go. Now we have the, okay, we have everything is maybe got debug and address sanitized versions so right now i'm sitting in okay yeah the device select layer vulcan library let me uh well 1500 make sure that address sanitizer is it. Ooh, whoops um 
Control Z that. Let's turn formatting off. I don't make it too hard for me to do stuff. Where was I? Crap. I was in here, right? Let's. Do that. Or, uh, no, that's not going to help me. In here, I need to do LD. Whoops. That and the other variable, which is copy and that equals this. Okay, great. There's the 1500 in an unknown module. Interesting. Why would it be unknown? And that's still fully unknown, too. It's at the very beginning of that. If I remove that... Rerun. Okay. Okay. Unknown module. Why? I definitely, it's definitely sanitized. Or it's very, it's definitely got debug symbols at the very least. I know that because I was just in here with. Wait, can I? Yeah, I'm I'm in here. The debug symbols are there. Even if it doesn't get the sanitizer stuff, it should still show the debug. Uh, it should still show. Hmm. Surely it knows the f a the file and the function that it was in. It's inside here. This is inside the Vulkan device select layer. Why? Okay. Okay. So maybe. I need to grab a drink for a second so I can actually think this one out. B R B. Okay. So, what is happening is the address sanitizer is marking bits of memory in the application as it runs. And then at the end, it's going through what it marked or what it still has links to. And then it's doing like stack traces. It's going back through like all the addresses of the stack traces it has. And if the library, if the, hmm, okay. I'm thinking then what most, okay, this is probably, I know this is this right here. So what inside, uh, 
the only thing that's actually loaded in at like the start, the only thing it links in, is that it's linked into is uh, Lib Vulcan. That's it. Lib Vulcan, the, the Vulcan loader, then loads the implementations at runtime. The, the layers are loaded at runtime, Vulcan Radeon, software rasterization, Intel, all those drivers, all those other things, shared libraries, are loaded in via at runtime via uh, probably like DL open. And what's probably happening is that for the application exits, they're being unloaded. Like properly unloaded as they should be before the application ends. And then all the Azure Sanitizer has is, you know, what was loaded at the end and a bunch of addresses which go into unknown modules. So, trampoline, Vulcan, uh, loader, let's go into the close. Uh, in Vulcan loader, we have two locations, uh, test, I don't really care about a test in this case. And as a he platform header, this guy. If I don't, if I close the library without actually closing it and run the Vulcan loader. There we are. Okay. And just to be sure, like if I properly unload the lib the binary, then it can no longer find it. Gotta make sure it runs both. Yes, unknown module. And amazingly, this guy also disappears. Really? Let's fix up Mesa. Let's undo that again. Make that back to here. It's gone. All right. <clears throat> so what if what happens if I go back to my engine application so we had all we had like you know uh you know half a megabyte and 3,100 and whatever. Uh, okay, so we have that, and we do build, whoop, build. Go oh, bring up. No address issues whatsoever. Okay. So that means what was happening was because the binary, like what the binary was at the time during runtime where the allocations were made is no longer found by address sanitizer at the end. It's, it thinks it, it thinks it's, it's a um, leaking memory, but it actually isn't. If it has the actual information there, it can figure it out. Why? Why though? Okay. So, like, problem statement is there's not really a problem, except, like, mm, there's no actual real problem. It's just, like, address sanitizer can't quite grok what's happening. So it errs on the side of 
this is actually probably lost. Which is the safer side, I would admit, to go with. But why? It's very strange. What kind of weird thing can it not figure out? Is it like a weird... Okay, these Kalox... Physical devices, selected physical devices. They are freed. Okay. Mm, okay. Out array. This is made in line, I guess. And the type is determined by that stuff. Okay. Okay. This is, um, hmm, okay. It's just a four. A fancy four. Hmm. Is there a weird thing going on in Mesa itself instead? So source, AMD, Vulcan, RADV, like a div, like um, where I create the instance. Formats. Check constants, debug, device. This would make the most sense. Nope. Oh, there it is. Create instance. Allocator. Okay, error. Instance free. Some valve drying stuff. Hmm. Okay, a mystery I will take. I will. We'll take to our graves, I guess. What's with this? What kind of weird indentation is? Oh, tabs. Mixed in with spaces. Yeah. Okay. Not quite, not quite there. Okay, the problem isn't with Vulcan Radeon or Mesa stuff, it's to do with address sanitizer not having great information at the end of the application. How do I resolve this? Because a uh, big thing that's happening with uh, the sanitizer runs. When I'm running the address and leak sanitizers, I have the Vulcan runtime tests off because it was running into that issue where because um, the Radeon driver, Mesa driver, is installed so that I, that I can run it 
on the containers, in the containers, on actual hardware, even if even if there's no actual Vulc uh, Radeon devices, it's still calling into Vulcan Radeon to find if there are any uh, devices that it can run, and then coming out with these address issues. Well, now false address issues. So if I want these turned back on here and here and probably elsewhere. Well, basically here and here. These are the, okay, I need to not unload out of the Vulcan loader. I need this, basically. And, oh, how, hmm. I really don't want to make my own version of the Vulcan loader. At all, because that would be bad. I mean that 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 would be that would be brittle. It could break easily, cause way more problems than this would resolve currently. But and obviously, I'm not changing up the old clothes, which is probably like part of libc or something. But actually. That is a good... Hold on. I don't have to. I don't have to rebuild. I don't... Maybe... What if... I don't think I need to actually do that. Uh, there's... Um... There's like an LD... Pre... LD preload... What is the LD preload trick? Um, if you set LD preload to the path of a shared object, that file will be loaded before any other library, including the C runtime. So run LS with a special malloc implement. Okay. I can make a shared object that has my own implementation of LD preload, uh, of DL close which does nothing and returns zero, that will be loaded before the actual libc version or wherever it's coming from. And then, whenever it's called and linked in afterwards, it'll link to that new implementation. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do this. I, we have the technology. We can do this. So, okay, let's kind of put this around here. Uh, let's not, okay. Currently main implementation, horribly leaky. Great, or horribly fal falsely leaky. If I have a new, let's just, okay, new add, pulse at C, the C library, add library, pulse close, which has the pulse C. This library is just C. And in here I have int dl close takes in a void star handle does nothing it just returns zero and that's it Where is this right now? This is just false close. Okay. Cool. 
Copy that. Go back here. LD preload equals this lib Let's close so build that dang is there any other magic die I was missing out of this thing That file will be loaded before any other library. Do I have? Hold on. Um, oh, oh, I'm not exporting the symbol. Are you an idiot? I'm not exporting the symbol. Uh, right. Libs. Right, right, right. Please tell me it's just because. Build lib false. Uh, maybe. Okay, I'm just really hoping that it is because I was being an idiot and didn't do that. I really hope public export h. I want to export it as that. Please. Damn it. Damn. Oh, well, interestingly, now I... Wait, hold on a second. Now this is all actually giving me actual real data, like real locations. It's all from the Vulcan radion. Okay, maybe I actually do have memory issues to deal with. Or is that because there was a sanitized version happening earlier? Hold on. This one's great. Okay. Let's use the actual regular version. with the version of the loader that doesn't close. Okay, we have these things again. And then if we just get rid of these things, then we're back to unknown modules. Okay. So the preload does, uh, does actually work. That's great. That's nice. I just don't know where the problem is happening now, but... Uh, well, actually, I do know. There is no problem. It's just... Either that or it's a problem with the older version of Mesa. Uh, Mesa. Or, hold on, what's going on here? Undefined symbol, this stuff. Is that it? Or are these, because I'm not running DL close properly. Hmm.
Okay. I can do this. Put this in a, like a CMake file in here, which is like, you know, false jail clothes, which will help with the sanitizers, maybe. And then I can pass that in to this. Put an LD preload option here somewhere to use that as part of the analysis template in here somewhere. Or I would just have to be analysis template, which is up here. Just just here? Just here. Uh, okay. Okay, can I not have this, uh, be... With that. I don't want the address sanitizer on that. Before there's some point up here before I include sanitizers. Like here. If I do that. Okay, get out of here. Killing me. You are killing me. File commands, if I go to like false. Was this last modifier? Oh, well, that's been added there. So that's right. It's just not even here at all. False dot it's just not there. Or it's supposed to be dynamic, right? Or shared. Sorry. Can I just libs pro graphics VK test test? No, 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 I'm still getting problems from all that. So let's try LCD this library path instead with. It's good. It's fine. The problem. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Well, this is frustrating. Is it like just what version of Mesa do I have on here right now? I have I have twenty two two three. What version? Oh, of course, this is going to be master, isn't it? Or main? Check out. That's not very useful. Twenty two two three. Maybe it is just something that's in the older version that's being resolved. Oh, long build. Hold on. Okay. Uh, that's been put into place. Let's see how that works then. Ah. Curious. So it actually may just actually be, well, that's like, what, three megabytes? Okay. Okay. Okay, so the version of Vulcan right now, this is, yeah, this is the one that I built. That's on the version that I have installed by default, does indeed have all these memory leaks. And if I swap back to, uh, I mean, I think it was which I'm already back by one. Do this again. So, hold on. Okay, so that's rebuilt. Go back to here. Same thing. No problem. All right, so there was actually a whole bunch of memory leaks and they've already actually been resolved upstream. So I've just wasted a whole bunch of my own time because someone didn't run an address sanitizer in the past. I, I, okay. What? So I'm on 22.3. So that's what, third quarter? Is there like a 22 dot, okay, Mesa 22 dot three dots. Okay, no, is there like a fourth quarter one or do I have to wait until like next year? No. Ah, right. Because, right. All right, I gotta wait until the new one or install a Git based version of the packages into the containers in the for the time being, or just leave them off for now. Actually, hold on. That's that. What happened? Okay. Let's just do the ICD. Is it just that or is it like a mixture of both? Mm. Mm. 
maybe a bit of both? Is it like to do with the, the Mesa loader or just the, uh, the Vulcan loader or just the Mesa stuff? Okay. If I do the preload, if I do that with that, is that what we're looking at? Or is it? Okay, so I still have a use case for LD preload. Or um, maybe. LD preload that. Okay, question is, then for this, no. Yeah, I don't really see a use case for this anymore then. Whatever the um, I'll keep this in my back pocket, but almost all the problems are going to be resolved by an actual update to Mesa sometime in the near future. So for the moment, I guess I just got got to wait. So there's. there's I need to wait. I need to wait for the new version of Mesa. Is there anything I can do in the meantime? Because I want these sanitizers to be running through the Vulcan code as well, if possible. I just don't want to be testing like the fact that Rad that I have Rad V installed. That's it. What if on these, like these are all software based checks. I'm not doing it on a hardware for these things. So all I have to do is for this, this is uh, AMD, this is using the Arch, so RS Vulcan Radeon. If I just uninstall the Radeon, the RADV implementation that's available through this here, then I'm then I can run address and leak sanitizer again. That should be it. That that Yeah, yeah, I can do that. I think I can do that. So I'll try that out and see how that works. Okay, yeah. Uh just uh adding on a no confirm to automate the um uninstall of the driver, but yeah, doing that allows me to turn sanitizers back on. So it took me way, way too long. And turns out I couldn't really do much. I just kind of have to wait uh, for the leaks, for the leak issues to be resolved. So yeah, that was that. So until next time, cheers.